This is the color helm from 1940. It's a helm! It's a cardboard spinny thing that measures and exhibits color combinations on a percentage basis. It has three spinning wheels and the innermost one just has these windows cut in it so you can see the colors underneath. It has 36 chromatic color steps. There's instructions on the back. Lots of instructions. It's a helm! This kind of paper spinny thing actually has a name. It's called a wheel chart or a vovel. These were some of the first computing devices ever made for anything other than counting. Here's a very sophisticated one from Europe in the 1400s. Things like this were being made even around the year 1000 in the Middle East. This one's by Al Biruni. The idea of sticking pieces of paper together and spinning them is pretty simple, but you can make some really sophisticated instruments this way. This one was made in the 1940s for choosing color combinations. It's about 80 years old, but the colors are still really bright today. Actually, given the printing technology at the time, it's impressive that they got this amount of bold colors on there in the first place. And they printed them in exactly the precise relationships that they wanted. On the back it says this was achieved by printing each ink onto the paper individually using mixtures of 40 different inks. That's a helm right there. This thing is used for choosing color combinations that have particular properties. You can choose between these four levels of contrast. The instructions call these the four classifications. Adjoining colors will all be pretty similar. The sextads are a bit more different. The triads are even more different. And the complementaries are totally different. To choose your classification, you find the little letters on the outer rings and line them up. So if I want three triads, that one has the C. I'm going to line up all the C's. You end up with four different sets of color combinations, each one giving three colors which have exactly the same contrast. Since I did triads, it's going to be 66 and two-thirds percent contrast, whatever that means. It's easy to get confused by all the spinny stuff here, but it's pretty clear when you see the results. Here's the adjoining colors. They're all pretty similar. Here's the sextads, a little more different. Here's the triads. And here's the complementaries. You can move the windows here to see some variations on your colors. The instructions call these the tints, the pures, and the darks. These here are the pures. You can move it this way to see the tints, and this way to see the darks. That's a helm. Here's a nice little detail. There's three shades of gray on this indicator wheel, and the instructions say these three shades of gray were chosen to have exactly the same darkness values as the tints, pures, and darks. That's one smart helm. Here's another great design detail. Within each wedge of color combinations, the three colors aren't exactly on three concentric circles. There's a bit of a slant to the curves that makes it look fancier. It's like when you cut your carrots on an angle. You see the inner circles of the wheel are actually off-center a little bit. Here, I'll spin the inner wheel and you can see it's not quite centered. I thought maybe this was a mistake that just happened to look cool, but the outer rim of the circles is centered, so they knew what they were doing, and it's a nice touch. Now, usually in these videos, I like to do specific examples demonstrating how you're supposed to use this thing, but I'm not about to repaint my house or anything. Actually, I happen to know a little lady who would love a makeover. MC Swag has a look with three basic colors, the red shirt and hat, the orange shoes and jacket, and her light green eyes. I think the color helm is the perfect tool for choosing colors for her makeover. Let's say we want something with bold contrast with maybe some purple in there. So I dial up the complementaries for maximum contrast, and then I'll choose a combination which has some purple in it. Like this one on the left looks good. And here she is, MC Swag, you look so awesome! Maybe MC Swag wants a coordinated outfit with a lot of blue. Then I dial up the adjoining, choose one with some blues, like this one on the bottom over here. That looks a little dark, so I'll get the tints. And there she is! You don't even have to dial the three wheels to the same setting. Like, maybe I want her hat and sleeves to be complementary, but then I want her eyes to kind of match well with her hat. 
So I'll dial in the outer two wheels, complementary. I line up the outer and the middle Ds. And then I want the inner two colors to be adjoining, so I'll line up the middle A with the inner A. And I'll take the combination on the right there and tint it. See, the hat and the jacket are different, but the eyes match the jacket. Nice work, Helm! There's 12 different colors on each wheel as you go around. That means you could get 12 different sets of adjoining colors, 12 sets of sextads, 12 sets of triads, and 12 sets of complements. I wonder how MC Swag would look in all those different sets. Just for fun, here's all the adjoining MC Swags. Here's all the sextads, the triads, and the compliments. Which one's the best? Obviously, it's this one. The instructions say there's 1,728 possible color combinations. Now, I'm a mathematician, so I know this kind of number written on marketing material is usually wrong. In this case, each wheel has 12 colors, and there's three of them, so that would be 12 times 12 times 12 combinations. Let's see, that makes 12 times 12, and multiply by 12 again. Oh, I guess they're right. Actually, there was another version of the color helm that had eight times more combinations, over 13,000. But I've only seen that one in this little ad here. I've never actually seen a photograph of the fancier one. So I'll have to settle for this one with only 1,700 color combinations. That's probably enough, right? I mean, do you really need all those different combinations? I certainly wouldn't go to the trouble of making MC swags and all of those different... Oh, yes, I would. This is 1,728 different MC swags. That's a lot of MC swags. If you spent one second looking at each one, people would be concerned and wonder why you made a YouTube video about it. Now, I know you're thinking, how can I get in on the color helm action? Well, I got you. I made my own online interactive color helm so you can try out all the fun on your home computer system. Check out the video description for a link. And look at this, I also made a do-it-yourself printable color helm. Here's how you do it. Use the fancy color printer at work, cut out the four pieces, cut out the little windows, and put holes right in the middle. All you need is one of those. So click on over that link and you can make your own and never be without it again. I'll keep one here, one here, and I have one perfectly preserved one right here.